What's up guys? Welcome back. Dane's Great Journey checking back in. Happy 2014. I know the last video I made was like two weeks ago, so I wanted to uh, wish you guys a happy 2014. I hope you guys are having a great start to the new year. And I actually made a video yesterday, but I guess it was too long to upload to YouTube, and I made it from my phone, so I had to wait another day, delete the video, and now I'm making this video again. I'm just going to shorten it up so I can uh, upload it so you guys can see it. And, um, the last couple videos of mine haven't uh, been uploaded actually to my Facebook page and Twitter where some other people watch the videos. I know it's not a ton of people or anything like that, but so if uh, you're wondering why you weren't seeing some of my videos, it was just because it wasn't getting uploaded to my Facebook page after I made the video because I made a video like two weeks ago, but I just fixed that because I guess Google changed a little bit of the things. So I'm going to get right into this video so I don't waste any more of your time, but videos are now going to be going right to my Facebook page and Twitter so you'll be able to see them if you just watch from there. It's not a big deal. So I hope you guys are having a great 2014 and something I wanted to talk about to you today was goal setting and actually doing it a little bit of a doing it a little bit differently than the traditional way because I think a lot of people struggle with writing goals and actually executing that goal and making it happen. Now let me explain the traditional way to do a goal. You know, you kind of write down the goal, you write what you want, and some people aren't even really clear, and which is a huge and important thing too. People aren't clear on exactly what it is they want when it comes to a goal. So that's like obviously one of the most important things is being clear what you want. But then, you know, there's this whole because I do a lot of videos on goal setting and there's this whole aspect of, you know, now you have to develop this plan. You have to develop the steps. Every single week you're going to do this. You know, this entire plan that a lot of people just forget about. Because a lot of people will write a goal down, they'll get a notebook out and write maybe 10 goals for the new year and they kind of just leave it and not really pay attention to it anymore. And that's a big mistake that a lot of people make because they don't want to go through, you know, writing down the plan to get there, what you're going to do to actually track week by week, month by month that you're actually making progress and that's so important and I know a lot of people don't like doing that and uh, I wanted to uh, give you guys a different way to think about setting a goal and going about achieving it that's not as um, that's not as you know complicated as you know writing all the little things out because I've I've done both I've written goals down I've developed plans and I still kinda do that because I like that way but I also like this other way and I'm gonna teach you about it today and I'm gonna teach you about it really quickly too because it's something you can implement into your life right away especially if you've already written goals which will be ideal so make sure you have some goals written down because that's the first thing you're gonna write down some goals now the different way I'm talking about explaining this is they're called personal success rituals it's something I learned from someone who wrote a book called um, the powerful engagement I think it's uh, Schwartz was the last name I actually learned about this from someone else on YouTube but he called these personal success rituals and what they basically are are if you write a goal down instead of developing a whole plan to achieve that goal you develop these personal success rituals now what these personal success rituals are are they're basically like habitual things you do each and every day but they're specific and you do them every single day so it compounds over time to eventually get you towards your goal now let me explain to you how this kind of works if I wanted to read 52 books in a year I'd write a goal to read 52 books but then my plan on actually getting there wouldn't be all written out. It would be, I would develop a couple success rituals. So one of those rituals might be getting up in the morning at maybe like 6.30 and reading for 30 minutes. And then doing another personal success ritual 30 minutes when I, before I go to bed. So I'm getting an hour in based on how fast I can read. I might be able to knock out a book a week. So over the 52 weeks in a year, I actually hit that goal of reading 52 books in a year. So you see how that works, guys, depending on obviously your reading speed and stuff like that. So it's these personal rituals that have a specific amount of time to them, and you focus completely and entirely on that ritual when you're doing it. So you don't answer your phone. You don't multitask. Multitasking is one of the most distracting things you can do in your life. So when you do these personal success rituals you want to do one thing single-mindedly focus on one thing at a time reading the book for 30 minutes without any distraction without answering your phone without answering email I think they were saying in this book too or from the guy I at least heard it from is when you actually multitask and say you answer your phone you talk to someone then you come back to the original thing you were doing it takes you about 25 minutes to get back in and to focus in completely like you were focusing before. Think about that, one little distraction. How many distractions do we have nowadays with Facebook, Twitter, all this stuff, guys? We are distracted, we're multitasking like no other. So our ability to focus in and zone in on one thing is very important for you to do when developing these personal success rituals. And this is something I did when I always talk, talk to you guys about you know, getting in really good shape, getting a six pack. I wrote that goal down, but I didn't develop a plan to get there. I just developed these personal success rituals. I didn't know what that's what they were called at the time. 
and I started working out this many days a week, personal success rituals. For on Monday, you know, I worked out. Tuesday I worked out. Wednesday I worked out. How I ate, these little personal success rituals. So reading a book is just one example. Another example would be to um, let's say spend an hour spend an hour um, spend an hour uh, meeting with uh, like meeting with a meetup group so you want to meet more like-minded people like yourself or they might be in uh, or they like they might be in a specific uh, you know they have a specific skill like you get together with a book club or you get together with an entrepreneur club you want to meet more people you develop this personal success ritual to maybe once or twice a week you have this personal success ritual where you go meet with these people so I hope you guys understand this I'm not gonna make this video any longer than it needs to be but personal success rituals are habitual things you do that you eventually get conditioned into your body in I mean into your like daily routine because the fitness stuff is so it's so second nature to me now it's conditioned into my system that I don't have to write all these personal goals and this plan to get in really good shape because I've been doing it for years and years now and it's it's something that I just do unconsciously and that's what will happen when you keep developing new and new personal success rituals I'd suggest to do, do one add one personal success ritual into your life and see how that manifests over time but to stay consistent with it if you say you're gonna read five times a week for 30 minutes make the commitment to stay getting those things done every single day out of the week, five times a week, whatever whatever it is you're doing, and to single-mindedly focus on that without distraction or interruption. Distraction, interruption, eliminate it. It will completely change how you guys do things and you'll gradually be getting closer and closer to your goal. Yes, it's not gonna happen overnight, but over the next 365 days, if you read 30 minutes of a book, maybe a book on self-development, maybe you wanna learn about time management, productivity, how successful people think, all the stuff that I learned and I like to share with you guys, make a make a goal to read five new self-development books this this year and personal create a personal success ritual for your life where you're doing that 30 minutes every single day and you'll knock out like 10 15 20 books and you'll learn so much and it, it, it'll just be great so I hope you guys I hope you guys like this and I hope it can give you some feedback I hope the video is not over the amount of time that I made it but whatever thanks so much for watching guys 2014 let's go out and crush it let's go learn and grow and implement all these things into our life that can really help us become high achievers like these these people we like to study well I like to study and you know you should study too you know successful people who can help you get to where you want to go thanks so much for watching the video guys Dane's great journey all the videos now for now on will be uploaded to my Facebook page so you guys will stay updated with me I'm really busy right now so I'm trying to make at least one video a week sometimes it's one every two weeks but we'll try and get there you know working ahead I'll let you guys keep you informed with everything I'm doing as of this video though personal success rituals implement them into your life and you'll see some great great changes guys thanks so much for watching have a great night Dane's great journey out